Hi, in this video, I would like to show you how you can generate PDF or DOCX documents directly from your Flutter Flow app. Let's get started. So here I have a simple application. Uh, we have uh, two text fields and one button. And what I will try to do, I will try to get this information from these text fields, pass it to the external service called Documentero and generate PDF document and allow user to download it directly from the uh, Flutter Flow application. So let's try. Uh, so here I have like a preset up all the UI elements on the application itself. And right now I will connect this button with the workflow um, to my custom action called generate document. I already pre-installed the custom code from marketplace and here you can as you can see we need to provide uh, following parameters api key document id format and data so let's go one by one so api key i can retrieve from uh, account settings and documentero so here here is a platform for generating the documents and if you go to the if you click on your profile and your account, you can copy your API key from here. So let's see, let me show you how it looks like. So here I provided the API key. I don't have to do anything else here. And next parameter is document ID. So document ID is my template, document template that I want to fill in with the data. So we need to create a document template so i will go back to this page and here when you sign up to documentero you can create a template online or you can upload the template from disk so just to make it simpler i will pick this first option here and here we have a sample document template mm. for time being i will just remove everything and i will put like just two fields, one is name and second is age. So here we have a sample, sample document. Well, Put the name and after a while the platform should analyze the template detect the fields and create a new document template okay I see the template is created uh, as you can see you can click on the template name and here is the template overview I see detected fields it's only name and age but we will keep it simple for now and I can change the output format, output file name. I will change it to PDF. Mm. This only matters if you're not overriding the output format from Flutter Flow app. So it doesn't matter that much. Uh, and here we need to go to generate document using API in JSON and click on this button here and here. And here we have a sample data that we need to pass to the service to generate the document. So uh, this is our document ID. I will copy this. Okay, cool. So I have API key. I have document ID. I need format. Format would be PDF. And I need to provide the data. And the data we will connect to our app state and to define the app state uh, we need to define let me like start from the scratch just to show you how you can do it uh, yeah let's remove this one as well so here I'm here in the documentero. I can see the structure that, that is required to generate the document. So it's under the data object. So there is a name and the age to be passed. So in here in Flutter Flow, I will create a data type. Uh, 
I will call it the comment structure. And I will add two fields. One is name, it will be a string, and second will be age, which will be also a string. Okay. And I will create um, I will create create upstate variable called uh, document data, which will use the data type that I just created, document structure. Okay. Great. Uh, I will also create um, a download URL just to save it, just to use it further. Uh, okay, so as you can see, I created the document data in my application state, and I can go back to um, I can go back to my page. I can go back to my button, edit my workflow. And I can change uh, yeah, I can connect the data parameter to application state. So here we have a document data and I will this is really important. I will convert this to JSON to match what is expected by this action. okay? So here we mapped the... Mm, document data in my app state uh, to the data parameter of this action. It looks like we have all, uh, all action arguments filled in and there is only action output variable name. This is kind of important. You need it to, 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 to do something with the generated URL. Uh, so let me put it output document URL here. Okay, so we have everything configured and I can add another step. Uh, and for example, it could be like once we get the once we get the URL from the service to the to download the document, we can for example, save it into our state. So here, um, sorry, I need to map it to the output of the action. So action outputs here, and this is our uh, output action, output document URL. And here's to my app state called download URL, I will save the output of this action, right? So I will have like download URL defined. Okay, cool. I guess uh, we got it. All done. So what we have configured so far, when I click generate document, it will contact with the service and generate document and store it in the app state. So what is missing is the connection between these text fields and my document, my data structure for generating the document. So let's add this as well. So this should be really added before even this action is happening because uh, we will add this. So let me add an action. I will move it up, right? And here, uh, when we click this generate document button, we will first start with uh, updating the application state with the values from the text fields. So here I will select action called update update. I will select my document data. Okay, I will select update fields. Uh, in my document uh, data and here I will map name with the widget state number one and I will map age with my widget state number two. Okay, so I have my both text fields mapped to the specific uh, 
upstate data, so called document structure in my case. I guess we are all done here. So, okay, looks good. Uh, so, here, when I click this button, uh, first of all, we will get the values from the text fields. We will store it in our upstate, right? Uh, in this document data field. And then uh, we will perform the action that we configured and we will download the URL, sorry, and we will store the generated document URL under, under another upstate variable here, download URL. So the last, last step that I need to, to do here to make it working is uh, add the way to download the generated file, right? So let me add another button. Okay, I can like add some Okay, I will skip this part for now. So here, uh, what I will add is, I will launch URL, right? And I will connect this URL with, uh, the download URL that we will set previously. Okay, I think we are all good. So here, I guess I have like template configured in Documentero and I have all fields configured here. I have my action workflow configured as well. It updates the upstate and it generates the document using my data. Uh, and then it's updating uh, my upstate download URL with the generated URL. So let's try and let's see if it does the job. Okay, here I can see my application uh, in the test mode. So let's put some different data here. Let's click generate document. And download. Okay, cool. I see my personal document is just generated uh, with the template that I created in the Commentero platform. So uh, that's really, really simple scenario. Obviously, you can do a lot of advanced stuff here make some conditions, put some images, links, uh, sections, but this is not really part of this video. So that would be it. Uh, thank you. And if you have any questions, uh, do not hesitate to, to ask in the comment section. Thanks. Bye.